Hi, I'm Dr. Ritter from CardioGage.com. I'm a cardiologist in New York. This video is about furosemide. The brand name for this is Lasix, but the patent expired a long time ago, so most of the time it's referred to as furosemide. This medication is inexpensive, generic, it's been around for many years, and it is used extremely frequently. It's a diuretic medication, which means it's used to help a person urinate off extra fluid as occurs when the legs are swollen and puffy. It also can decrease out of breath, which can occur with a heart dysfunction or weakened kidneys. The heart and kidneys work together to keep the fluid level in the body just right. But when things aren't working properly, you can end up with a lot of fluid overload and a person needs a medication like furosemide. Furosemide is very effective Doses range from 10 milligrams a day up to a maximum of around 80 milligrams twice a day. Occasionally, it'll go up to 120 milligrams twice a day. The main side effect I see is wooziness or lightheadedness caused by low blood pressure, which occurs because the medication basically can dehydrate you. So I warn people uh, about the side effect. It occasionally will cause a rash in which case the medication has to be stopped. The most important side effect of furosemide is decreased kidney function. This can happen if the person becomes excessively dehydrated. For this reason, patients get blood tests every few months while they're on furosemide. This is certainly more apt to occur when a person is sick and they're not eating and drinking normally, or if they're sweating because they're working outside a lot in the hot weather, they're doing something that they normally don't. So you have to watch out for getting excessively dehydrated, certainly when you're on furosemide. It can cause a low potassium level. So people who are on furosemide often require a potassium pill once a day or increased intake of dietary potassium, uh, which would be mostly fruits and vegetables uh, have a lot of potassium in them. In patients who have significantly weakened kidney function, I will check their potassium level and their kidney numbers every one to two months while they're on furosemide because the furosemide can cause worsened kidney function and elevated potassium if they get excessively dehydrated. You might ask, why would we ever give furosemide to someone with weakened kidney function if it can make it worse? Uh, the answer is uh, people with weakened kidney function often have a lot of swelling, they get all puffy, and we have to do something to get rid of the fluid and that something is furosemide. All in all, this is a very effective medication. Um, I wouldn't call it the most safe medicine out there because it does require blood testing, but uh, we have to use it in many situations, um, and it's very effective to remove fluid from people who are having a lot of swelling, and also it helps a lot of people with out of breath. So uh, it's used very commonly. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content and visit CardiaGage.com, my website, for a personalized assessment of your heart health.